Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Bella Harmony. Um, I got my Hotshot Pro 200 light in and um, I've got it outside on a bike. The light is just crazy bright. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. I, you can't even look at it. It hurts your eyes. So I've got it on the bike. I ended up putting it on a lower position on the bike than I normally do because it just looks like it would blind anybody that's following me in a group or whatever. So I'm gonna show you. This is the box. All the instructions are here. You can see where it says 200 lumens, daylight, adjustable flash tempo, six light modes, two to 210 hours, and it has an adapted flash. The adapted flash is for daytime. It controls the brightness, and then for light time, it automatically controls the brightness. There, have, there are two little buttons on it. This is like the power button to turn it on. And this is like an up and down arrow to where you can manually dumb it down or make it even brighter than it is in the standard modes. I'm gonna turn this box around and walk you through because what I'm gonna show you are these modes where it says here, steady, zoom, triple flash, random flash, steady pulse. And of course it has daylight lightning, which is the powerful lightning like flashes that make you stand out in broad daylight. So let's go over to the light. I've got it on my bike on the Colnago. I just got back from a ride in the rain and it is crazy bright. I'm gonna show you what mode I was using first and then walk you through the modes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Uh, the buttons I showed you on the box represents how to show up on the light. The left is a power button. The right button is a manual adjustment on brightness or making it dim i don't i'm not going to mess with that the standard stuff seems to be fine so when you look at the light here you see those two buttons there the left button is the power button both black okay so i'm going to turn it on it remembers the last mode it was in i'm going to just turn it on that's the random flash let me walk you through the modes you push the power button once and it, it cycles through the modes. So when I push this, it goes to the next mode. Let's start here with these modes. This is the steady mode. The light is just steadily on. I'm gonna back away, you can see how it looks small. When you get closer, the camera tries its best. So that's steady. The next mode, it's called zoom. Look at that. That's a good representation here. The camera does a good job right here. It just it just moves. That, that's cool. I think that would be perfect in the group. I'm trying to find a mode that I would use in a group without blinding everybody. And I think this mode will be good. This mode will last from three to seven and a half hours. The mode I showed you before, the steady mode, from two to 210 hours. And that's gonna depend on what you do with the arrows that I showed you. If you make it really bright, you know, it doesn't last very long. Now I'm gonna go from zoom, I'm gonna go to steady pulse. Push the power button, that's steady pulse. Okay, and steady pulse, I'm trying not to look at the light, will last from four and a half to six hours for steady pulse. Then I'm gonna go to the triple flash. Triple flash is the next mode. Push the power button. Triple flash. It's a lot brighter than the camera is representing. You can see how the light looks like it's wide. It's a wide beam. It just spreads all over. Steady flash will last anywhere from 29 to 75 hours. Yeah, I had to look at that several times to make sure that they're hours and they are. So this mode, the triple flash mode, 29 to 75 hours. So let's go to the next mode. It's called Day lightning. I'm gonna go to day lightning. Day lightning. This is day lightning. Okay, that's day lightning. 
and dead lightning will go from six and a half to 37 hours, depending on what uh, you do with the arrows as well how bright you make it. The next mode is called random flash, which is what I use today on the ride. I'm gonna go push the power button one more time. This is random flash. And it just, it just all, it's all over the place. I really like this one. You want to place this light to where the people in your group are not looking directly at you. With this light, it comes with the bracket already on there. The strap is not on there. You just hook it on there and you can wrap it around and clip it over here. You use a screwdriver to adjust the angle that you want the light to sit at. There's a ratcheting thing in this circle down here. So I already have the angle adjusted. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on the seat post. I think that's where a lot of people will put it. Basically, it's really easy to do. You just take the strap, wrap it around the seat post, and clip it on this hook here. That's it, and it's on the seat post. Now, that I think that's the best spot. That, that's a good spot for it, because I'm looking at this steady mode right now, and it's not so hard on the eyes. I will not be putting it under the saddle like I do the other ones. It's just simply too bright. So that's the steady mode. I'm gonna go through the modes once more. That's the zoom mode. Look at that. That is a nice mode. And I'm looking at it right now, and that looks like it's very tolerable. I'm gonna push this. Steady pulse, right there. Steady pulse. The next mode is called triple flash. I like this mode here. Get you anywhere from 29 to 75 hours. So in this mode, you go three months or more before you need to charge this light. Uh, then they have day lightning, which is the next mode. I'm gonna push the power button. That's day lightning, you can see it's just swirling around like a comet storm. That's the mode that Mo had when I saw this light on his bike. It is very effective. I mean, this thing is just crazy bright. Anybody following you that looks at it will bother their eyes. And then random flash, which is what I used today. It changes all the time. The pattern is not any particular Thing that you can follow it's just changing look at that really really you see how wide the beam is on 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 the the camera it covers the whole area that's what you're seeing it spreads out like a big wide beam and uh it is just crazy bright i think uh, my challenge will be finding a mode that won't bother people that are behind me in the group so um that would be my my challenge because it's too bright. I'm not going to be messing with these arrows to dumb things down. If you do adjust it here, and you, and you, and you let's say you set this dimmer than, you, than it came from the factory, to go back to factory, you hold this button here. You hold the power button, seven seconds. It will turn itself on and off, right there. It lets you know that it's been reset. So it went back to factory. That's how you reset it. So I hope this will help some of you who are on the fence. But uh, the best way I can describe the uh, Hotshot Pro 200 is it's crazy bright. I think it's just too bright. <laughs> so the steady mode may be my group mode. It seems to be the, the easiest on the eyes. So definitely do not look at the light. It's just too harsh. As soon as you look at the light, it's like you're, you just can't see. Your, your eyes lose, you lose focus, okay? So get yourself a copy if you need a very bright, reliable light that lasts a long time based on the mode that you're setting. These are smart lights, I call them, with all the dynamic adjustability. During the daytime, the beams are different than nighttime. So it adjusts by itself. At night, it's even brighter. So no matter what, let nothing stop you from getting your case in.